Say you've invented a new type of work shoe. And what's unique about your shoes, I mean, having been someone who's worn work shoes for many, many years and found them incredibly uncomfortable, so they look professional, but they're very uncomfortable. And then on the flip side, we have sneakers that are very comfortable, but look unprofessional. You've invented uh, or designed a new work shoe that both looks, can pass off as being professional, so you can wear it for meetings, but you've designed the inner sole or maybe the, you know, the lower part of the shoe, uh, use materials and, and use, you know, specialized, you know, air channels or whatever it is to like drive a lot of comfort, right? And you've spent like three years prototyping different ideas to kind of like really get this working fine. You came up with a prototype previously that seemed promising, but then when you got initial feedback from customers, you realized that it, the, the wear and tear was very high. Um, there were other issues, maybe it was squeaky, it made sounds and you know, certain parts of the foot didn't have as much comfort. So over the years, you've made all these like changes and you've kind of Im improved it and made it better and better. Now, you are trying to communicate this to your potential buyer, someone who's new to the website, doesn't know any of this backstory. You have now a dilemma and your dilemma is there's a voice in your head that says, you know, will people even care? Like, do people really care about these kind of excruciating details and getting into all of these things? My response to you is very simple. Make them care. That's my suggestion. Make them care because if you cannot make them care, they will not read those details. If they do not read those details, your shoe is indistinguishable from every other alternative. At that point, the consumer is just throwing a dart um, in the air and just picking the first brand that kind of comes to mind. Do you really want to play that game? And if you don't, you have to make them want to understand your story. They're not going to want to understand your story because, you know, they they don't want to invest 20 minutes and 15 minutes really understanding, reading your, your story. You need to make them care.